Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Empress Imani. What's good? So for today's video, I got something fun. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about how to find your own personal style. Now I'm not even gonna lie, I'm still kind of like in the midst of searching. Like I definitely have like my own style, but I feel like I can do better. If that makes sense, you know. So like. I definitely am still on my journey to like having my own style for like my entire closet. It's progress, it's progress. So I'm gonna tell you guys tips and tricks for what I've done so far that kind of helps me get my own style situated. Okay, so the first tip is something that is kind of like holy grail for me because I used to do this all the time and it's Pinterest. You guys gotta go on Pinterest, type in a certain aesthetic for an outfit, or just, you can literally just go on Pinterest and type outfit ideas, and you can find like so many cute outfits of like other women that styled them. And it's like so inspirational for me. I don't know, like I, I've just always loved Pinterest and like, I use Pinterest a lot for like motivation. And I think that that's a great thing to do because then you can like, you can kind of like look at someone else's outfit and then make it your own. The next thing I would say is Goodwill. Now Goodwill is my... Boy no, it's my favorite spot you guys. Honestly, I freaking love Goodwill. I, I will shop there more than like these popular brands or online brands like i love google shopping like you can go in the men's section and find like cute button-ups or like t-shirts like oversized t-shirts i found like an oversized button-up and an oversized t-shirt in google i feel like shopping at google makes you kind of more creative with your outfits because you're just seeing stuff that you like you know you see the shirt and you're like oh this is cute what can i you know find to go with it so i feel like goodwill is definitely a good spot for that so like i feel like finding a, a good clothing piece in goodwill is like finding a diamond because it's just like it's just so personal to you and then too nobody else can like come in after you and buy the same thing because goodwill has like <laughs> a bunch of random clothes so it's like you just feel so special when you shop at goodwill and i just absolutely love it definitely found different types of clothing in there so that'll help you like a lot when it comes to finding your own style okay so the next thing i'm going to say is don't be afraid to wear what you like and this one's a, this one is like so important because sometimes i feel like people we tend like you know just being us we tend to like not wear certain things because we're afraid of like other people and what they would say about like what you're wearing because it, it might be kind of odd you know and i feel like we should think like that and just like wear what you want if, if you like it wear it you know because like you like it and that's all that matters don't worry about if it's not popular um if it looks weird because at the end of the day that doesn't matter if you like it you like it and i feel like you should rock it because you like it and if anybody has anything to say to you tell them okay that's it the next tip i would give is mix and match look at what you have in your closet already and try and like mix different things up you know like don't always wear the same shirt with the same shit with the same <laughs> pair of pants like mix stuff up mix patterns up it actually is like a really good idea and you might find something like like you might find a style that you like without even really knowing you know you don't know until you try so don't be afraid to like mix and match things layer i used to layer my clothes all the time especially like during the winter and i feel like my clothes are so cute in the winter but that's like my favorite <laughs> that was like my favorite season for like outfits because like you can bundle up and i love like layering clothes and it just makes you look so like put together depending on how you do it of course but i just feel like it just makes you look so put together and like so stylish without even really being stylish <laughs> so try different things you know a perfect example of mix and matching say you got like a set from somewhere and like you have it in your closet but you feel like you have to wear that set together all the time try and like wear the top <laughs> try and get like the top part of the set and wear it with like some jeans so the next thing i have to talk to you guys about is something that 
I struggled with because I didn't even think about it. I didn't realize it. So basically, when you, what you gotta do is buy basics and have basics in your closet. And what I mean by basics is like the tank tops or plain white t-shirts or plain black t-shirts or even just like plain like colored t-shirts, whatever the color you want. Just have like basics in your closet because when you have basics, I feel like I'm saying basics a lot, but when you have those items in your closet, you're able to mix and match things so much easier and you have different outfits to wear because those shirts go with everything, you know? So it's like, it's easier to mix, mix and match clothes when you have basics in your closet. Okay, so the next one, I would say, well, the last one I have, trying different styles. Some people have like, they lean more towards the girly side or the, what do you call it? The alt side, um, cottage core. Like there's so many different specific styles that I feel like sometimes you might be a person to be like in a certain category. And if you knew that you can buy clothes and like style your clothes a certain way to like get that kind of look that you want. For me, I kind of like can wear, I kind of jump around a lot. Like, I don't think I have a specific style. I can be cottagecore, I can be definitely really girly. I can do all here and there. Um, I feel like I, I do, like I have my days basically. <laughs> I'm a different girl every day of the week. I don't have like a specific like style, but if you did, it'd be easier so you, you know, if you knew you like alt, you could look up different alt pictures and stuff, you know? It, it kind of like helps you get like ideas for your fashion. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it helped you like at all. So if it did, just let me know in the comments below. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I feel like those tips really, really help in you finding your own style. But most importantly, don't be afraid to like be yourself because that's all that matters. Like if you like some people, I feel like most people honestly like to express themselves and what they wear. And I feel like we should be more kind to people about what they wear. And like, just like, I feel like if it makes them happy in it, then that's all that matters. I just feel like I don't know why people don't mind their business. <laughs> like that's, I really feel like that. Cause I hate when I see people bully someone for like their what they what f I hate seeing people bullying someone for wearing something a little outrageous or different because like they're just not doing the norm you know let them live but be yourself and that's 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 it okay that's it I love you guys so much stay tuned for more videos in my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I'm on the way to 1k and we need to hit that before the end of this year. So don't forget to subscribe. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned. Bye. <laughs>